New at noon, the law firm representing Duquesne University in the case involving the death of student Marquise Jalen J.B. Brown shared a detailed timeline of what happened before, during, and after the tragic incident. Lindsay Ward explains what the university gave to J.B.'s mom in the hope that it will answer more of her questions. We did a thorough and detailed investigation. An investigation, months, according to attorneys with Reed Smith, included numerous witnesses, video and audio recordings, and the student athlete's roommate. But what JB did that night that caused his death was also completely shocking to everyone. No one could have foreseen what occurred. According to investigators, in October of 2018, JB smashed a chair through a glass window in his campus dorm room and fell 16 stories to his death. Attorneys for Duquesne say there was no foul play involved and that this is not a case of police misconduct and to suggest that it is, is frustrating. There's absolutely no evidence that this was a case of police intimidating someone, a case of police using force or threats of force. Daniel Brown, JB's mom, has requested repeatedly more information. And today, the attorneys say there is now additional paperwork that she can review that provides more on the case. We want to be very clear the file is ready and waiting to be shared with Ms. Brown's team as soon as her lawyer returns the proper paperwork. Meanwhile, the university has been unable to determine if there was any other substance with the marijuana that was found in JB's system, and they don't know where the drugs came from. That part of the investigation is ongoing. Reporting downtown, I'm Lindsay Ward, KDKA News.